Hi everyone and welcome. I'm out here in my garden and it's a beautiful sunny early November day where uh, I thought I would just come outside since it's t-shirt weather to just film a little bit of video. A lot of people have been asking about my garden and this year I just made a conscious decision not to film my garden because it was just uh, not such an area of interest when I was shooting weekly regular updates all season long last summer. So this year I did pretty much nothing about it. Uh, and now the questions are starting to pop up about, hey, let's see your garden, but guess what? At this point, it's too late. Everything's been killed off by the recent freeze that we had. Uh, but you can see some remnants of what was happening here. You can see these plants, some of these plants are almost as tall as me. This was a jalapeno pepper plant that, uh, that had tons and tons of peppers all over it. I took everything off before the freeze came and I've got them, you know, in storage but even that stuff is starting to get old at this point so i'm gonna have to eat it all up you can see i've also been using these hooks like i've done in the past if you watched any of my videos last summer you'll see that i um have kind of my own personal homemade version of um something that's out there it's used in greenhouses it's kind of what's known as a tomato hook and you kind of spool up a certain amount of string onto the onto the tomato hook and then as needed you could let let some of it out as your plant grows and that's just the way that I was um, suspending all of my tomato plants at first and I found that it also works pretty well for the uh, the pepper plants too and then you know in addition to the tomatoes and the uh, and the peppers there was also this uh, grating placed up here to run cucumber plants up and there were a few cucumber plants, but maybe not as many as I would have liked to have seen. So it was a pretty nice, fruitful summer season in the garden, growing all kinds of yummy peppers and tomatoes and cucumbers. You can even see that this plant is even taller than I am. But it's all over now. That's okay. There's always next year. But the reason I'm out here is not to talk about the garden because we're going to check in on my outdoor worm bin. So let's head over there and see what's happening. So if you're a regular on my channel and you've seen previous updates about the worm bin outside, then you'll know that it's currently sitting underneath this inverted old trash pail. And um, I had originally started my outdoor worm bin within this trash pail, but then I moved it into a grow bag And what a mess. I, um, I came in here not too long ago and I realized that something had been in here. You know, kind of like the, the bears when they came home and they noticed that somebody had been sleeping in their beds and eating their food. And I mean, yuck. You can even see there's signs of somebody not only just hanging out in here, but also, you know, leaving their waste and tilling up the entire contents of the container so it used to be that I would look in here and there'd be there used to just be this piece of plywood with these pieces of cardboard covering things up as well as the plastic to help keep moisture in um, but things would not look like this we wouldn't have all kinds of stuff piled up around the edges the way we see here we wouldn't see pieces of peanut shells brought up to the surface um, it's very clear that there's been invader activity in this worm bin and I'm questioning whether I can even continue to call it a worm bin anymore because if um, if my hunch is correct then what's been rummaging around in here is either a mole or a vole or a uh, I don't know some sort of a uh, other burrowing creature that preys on worms and even though we had at one point estimated there to be something in the neighborhood of about 5,000 worms in this container I would almost venture to guess that the population has probably been for the most part wiped out by this time so uh, since there is you know waste <laughs> waste in here from uh, from whatever little predator it is that's been picking around in here. I'd rather not go in here with my uh, bare hands. 
I believe I'm just going to use a stick to probe around in here a little bit. But I've got this funny feeling that we're probably not going to find many worms in here. I might even be better off. Oops, did I just spot a worm? How do you like that? There's a worm right there. Possibly one of the sole survivors. Because <laughs> I don't think I've seen any other worms yet. But then again, I've not really probed very deep yet. Um, I don't know, maybe I see a couple more little ones. But you know, if you're looking through a bin of this size into which an estimated 5,000 worms have been placed, then you'd expect to see a whole lot of worms cruising around. And you know, not only that, stuff like this, these chunks of cabbage that were put in here three, four weeks ago, would most certainly have been depleted by now by the worms. So I'm starting to believe that this this is a failed attempt, unfortunately, and it's uh, it's no real fault of my own, per se. Although I could have done better protecting the inhabitants of this worm bin from intruders. I just, um, I just failed to do so. So yeah, I guess in a certain way it is um, something I could have prevented if I had had the, um, the wherewithal to expect that sort of a intrusion. So here and there I do see a couple more worms. I'm wondering if the invader might have um, started to feel like coming in here is becoming less and less worth their time because there's so few worms remaining. Or maybe they are still coming in here and they're still, you know, gobbling up any worms that might remain in here. And it's unfortunate too because if you look through this you can see that the material was starting to break down quite nicely. So I'm still torn on what to do here. I, I've thought about maybe setting it up in such a way that um, intruders would be unable to access the container. And then um, maybe try to replenish the worm population and try to revive it. And that wouldn't be too difficult, I guess. There's already food in here that's starting to break down. There's some worms in here too. Um, or I guess the other option is to just, just abandon the whole thing and forget about it. So I'm going to give it a little bit of thought. Love to hear people's thoughts about what they think I should do. There always seems to be a fair bit of interest in this outdoor worm bin. So if people are really interested in me doing it, then I might actually feel inspired to revisit this thing and try to get it back in, you know, get it back into service, but do so in a way that uh, ensures that it's not going to get invaded again and have its population depleted again this way. So that's it for today. For now, I'm not even sure I'm going to cover it up or anything like that. I might just leave it be. And if I decide it's time to uh, try to give it a better, more secure setup and start repopulating the worms, then I'll do that. But for now, I think I'm inclined just to leave it be and scrap the whole idea of having an outdoor worm bin at this point. I don't know. We'll see. I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts on the situation. But for now, that's it. I'm going to uh, sign off with this. Just wanted to give everyone a quick update on what's happening out here. So, uh, so if you enjoyed the video, please remember to give me a quick thumbs up. That's always really appreciated. And also consider subscribing to the channel too. That's really appreciated as well. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.